Twin flame communication. How do you go about communicating with your twin flame if you're in a place of no contact or how do you go deeper into communicating with your twin flame if you already are in communication with your twin flame? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brienne, a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. Today I want to talk to you about communication with your twin flame. And who doesn't want to know about communicating with your twin flame? It's a very uh, juicy topic and everybody wants to have that dialogue, that open communication with their divine lover. And when I was moving through physical separation from my twin flame, I was deeply afraid of talking to my twin flame. And, you know, it, it should feel, and it actually is, the most normal and natural thing to do to communicate with your twin flame. But if you're experiencing separation or periods of separation in your union, there's going to be a little bit of maybe uncertainty, maybe a little bit of, of fear or um, just not quite feeling peaceful with the communication. And it can almost seem like the most foreign thing ever. You have questions in your mind like, you know, what do I say? You know, um, how do I talk to them? Or what if they think this about me if I say this thing? Or, you know, like massive amounts of questions. I know you know what I'm talking about. Whether you're in that state right now or you've been in that state before. Um, we just want to unpack this communication. And you first, what I want to invite you to do is to let go of your idea of communication. Because often when we say communicate... Every single time as human beings, we naturally think, okay, talking on the phone, maybe a physical communication, like you're standing, you know, having a, a tangible physical conversation with one another. But with your twin flame, because it is spiritual first, you want to let go of, you know, what you know communication to be. And when I say let go, what I mean by that is allowing your consciousness to expand and open up to a spiritual uh, knowing of communication and an understanding that it goes much deeper than just like talking physically to your twin flame. And now what I'm going to share with you, it's, it's leading into that. Like that's the juicy part, right? But we want to get you with where you're at right now and get you moving forward in a deeper understanding of that communication and how to have it. Okay, so in letting go of, okay, I just know communication to be, I call you up on the phone, you say some things, I say some things, we maybe have a three hour conversation because with your twin flame, communication's nonstop. You could talk for hours upon hours upon hours. All right, so letting that go, let's just say you are walking down the street or you're riding in your car, maybe you see a butterfly or maybe you're riding in your car and you hear a song and it makes you think of your twin flame or you see a butterfly and you think of, you know, transformation or my twin flame and I coming together. It's a sign of union. And maybe you see a feather or those, you know, those ominous, and maybe ominous is not the right word. Have an idea here of what I'm trying to say, but maybe that's not the right word. But like that, you know, 1111 or that 222 or 555, right? We all know these uh, signs and synchronicities. Those are communication from your twin flame. Those are communications being had in your union. And if you feel fearful of communicating with your twin flame, or if there's some part of you that feels like you'll be rejected or unsure of what to say, or there's any any feelings other than peace, then your twin flame is going to communicate to you in ways that you can peacefully receive it. And so as I was healing phys physical separation, and I had a lot of fear, massive amounts of fear around talking to my twin flame, and the reason for my fear was I was afraid that I would be rejected. And so because I had that fear of rejection, I was manifesting no communication, like physical, you know, dialoguing with my twin flame. But what I did experience were a lot of signs and synchronicities, 
songs, um, anything like random lyrics, uh, all kinds of things. Or I would hear someone say something and I instantly knew in my heart that that was a message. And so for that time frame, when I was moving through that fear of, of, of being rejected, that's how I received communication from my twin flame. And as I healed my heart, you know, that communication, it began to open up to where we could have that physical dialoguing over text and phone and whatnot. And it slowly started to open up to where we could have that intimacy and that vulnerability in talking with one another. And you may be asking, hey, well, how did you get to that? Well, I heal the blocks in my heart by applying the teachings of union and the mirror exercise. And so, you know, that fear that I was ex uh, experiencing of feeling like I'd be rejected or I wouldn't say the right thing. Those are the places where I had to learn to communicate love with myself, right? Because remember, if you're new to this or you're not, your twin flame is a reflection of you. They are your divine mirror and they are going to reflect back to you what is in your shared consciousness simply so it can come up to be healed. They're never in any way, shape or form trying to be mean to you. They're simply just responding energetically to the energy that you're putting out. And so if you're energetically fearful you're not gonna find that they're close by, or maybe they are, but the communication is choppy and not it's not consistent and not um, it's not a steady flow there. And that's because there's something inside of you, communication with self, where you're not feeling uh, peaceful, you're not feeling good and joyful about it. And as you resolve inside of you, where that lag in communication is with self, right? Because if there's fear, like I had fear of rejection, that was a essentially like an energetic block that I was holding within myself. And I simply had to love myself there and heal what was arising. And as I did this, as I worked this process, that communication went from signs and synchronicities and song lyrics and random things that people would say, or I'd hear my twin flame's name, you know, it, it slowly evolved from that into something external, into the real deal. So it's important that you don't um, be hard on yourself for where you're at on your journey, regardless of where you're at, because the Twin Flame journey is a healing journey. And even, you know, me being four years into har my Harmonious Twin Flame Union, my twin flame and I, we, we, we are healing every single day. And even sometimes in my videos, I hop on here and I share with you, you know, a block that we healed through in our union. I think recently I shared um, a, not, a feeling of a lack of worthiness block that my twin flame and I healed in our union. And so you can see that even as you come into twin flame union, harmonious union, the healing doesn't stop. It it continues. If anything, it expands, it grows, your inner healing work increases, but it feels really good. It goes from feeling, you know, like that state of separation where you feel alone and you feel like your heart's been cracked open and you feel really sad and you feel really down and out. And I know I've been there. I, I used to, in the very beginning of my twin flame journey, I would literally lay on the floor in the cradle position crying because I was so emotionally, um, I was in emotional turmoil. I was in so much pain and um, I understand and I get it completely and no one should be experiencing that, literally no one, that's not okay. But I, I assure you, as you heal your heart and you put yourself first and you love yourself, you move forward, you claim support on your journey and you, you mingle with those that are on the same journey as you and that are actively healing and, and you know, uh, moving forward, you will find success in your union. 10 out of 10, you will find success in your union. And so with this communication piece, acknowledge the communication that you have with your twin flame right now. So if you're receiving signs and synchronicities and there's no um, physical contact, that is the communication. And the reason for that communication is because it's indicating that 
there's a block to having expanded communication that actual like sit with one another and actually talk about your union and talk about your life together but know that you are leading into that as long as you're willing to do the inner healing work right that is um that's the the thing you got to do you can't just kind of sit and and wait because if you're sitting and waiting your twin flame is going to sit and wait on you because they're they're literally you like and the best way that I can describe this is if you go sit in front of a mirror right now, all right, you, this, I think this analogy here will really help you understand how really your twin flame, they're you. You see another person, you see you maybe different hair, different eyes, you see that soul looking back at you, but that's literally your soul looking back at your soul. So just go do this right now. If you don't understand the oneness that twin flames share, just like go stand in front of a mirror. And when you stand in front of that mirror, like if you see that you're not moving, like you're just stoic in the mirror, well, the reflection looking back at you is also stoic. It's not going to move. That's your twin flame, right? And so you've got to, you can't wait. That's what I'm communicating. You have to be actively healing your upsets, actively healing the blocks in your heart and actively identifying those so that you can move through them. And that is what's going to, because your twin flame is you, when you heal, they naturally heal with you because you're one. But that's a whole other thing that I don't want to go because it's more stuff that we could talk about. But uh, acknowledge where your communication is at right now and know that it's simply indicating that there's either a block or, um, you know, there's an opportunity to, to expand and that is done simply through self-love and choosing to have divine, harmonious, peaceful communication with yourself. All right. And if you're looking for that twin flame support, as I said in the beginning, I am a master certified Ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. You can, uh, all of my details are below. Feel free to reach out. I'm very happy to support you and uh, we'll get you moving forward on your journey. Okay, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe.